What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Big Ape 93 today, coming at you with the first in a series of Let's Talk videos. Today we'll be talking about that epic fall finale for season 11 of Supernatural that occurred last night. For those of you that haven't seen this episode yet, be warned, there will be some pretty major spoilers about what happened and the possible implications that they may have on upcoming episodes of Supernatural when it returns from this current break, which will be on January 20th of 2016, for those of you that haven't heard that yet. The first thing I want to talk about with this episode is, where was Cass at? If I recall, this has to be the first finale since the character has been introduced where our favorite lovable angel hasn't been involved in some shape or form. Although he was shown in a preview for an upcoming episode when we return from the break. Now to answer the question on everyone's mind before we get further into this video, do I think as a result of this episode that Lucifer will get out of the cage again? Probably not. The show has never been keen on having two separate big bads out at the same time, with a few exceptions over various seasons, but I could be mistaken. This episode overall had its typical supernatural flow to it. Amara was causing some trouble going around to various places of worship and seemingly sucking out the souls of the people at each place, in an effort to get God's attention of course which seems to be a pretty big theme this season. What can we say? God has a lot on his plate. It's going to be interesting to see what happens when we finally get that epic reveal of who God is in this show, which may happen this season according to the rumors that I've read. Dean went off to investigate the deaths that Amara has been causing, and Sam in turn was working with Crowley and Rowena an attempt to be able to talk to Lucifer and see if he had any knowledge that he would offer up on ways to stop the darkness or how God originally stopped the darkness eons ago. They ultimately succeed in getting the method Rowena has chosen to work, where they can communicate with Lucy, and can we just talk about for a second how nice it was to see him again? He's still just as classy as ever, and that hug it outline was hilarious. Him and Sam had a very intriguing conversation. According to him, when the darkness was let out, it damaged the cage somewhat slightly. And in doing so, Lucifer let out the revelation that it wasn't God that was sending these visions to Sam, but it was indeed Lucifer himself. Also occurring at this time is the return meeting of Amara and Dean, in which they talk about what her endgame ultimately is. And apparently she wants there to be a universe with no rules, from what I could gather from their conversation. While also letting on to a possible plot that will be worked into in the actual season finale or before, revealing that she intends for her and Dean to become one. We didn't get any more information about this, however, due to the epic event that is unfolding. I can't wait to see what happens here from after the break. Well, after Amara and Dean have their talk, a trio of angels appear before them, informing Amara to surrender to the will of heaven, as they put it, and that doing so will unleash a wrath of heaven the likes of which we have never seen before in this series. The host of heaven, the mass majority of all the angels, plan to smite her with one massive blow, the angel quoted it saying, not even you could survive that. We then see Amara zap Dean off while seeing a massive light of angels descending from heaven, and then a massive flash and an explosion occur. The outcome of this, which we don't get to see sadly, will be one of the most important things I look to see being resolved when we come back from the break. For two reasons to be exact, I do not feel like the attack will kill her off. She is God's sister after all. But at the same time, I don't feel like the show would write off the mass majority of all the angels that are left in heaven without creating some weird power balance between heaven and hell that would be another issue that we would have to have resolved by the end of this season. And with the season already having so much to do, I don't feel like that's an issue that they would create right now. Now back to the best part about this episode, which is the conversation between Sam and Lucifer. 
As normal, he's up to his old tricks, trying to get Sam to let him be his vessel again, as he did in the past. And Sam seems very willing to stand up for himself in this episode and firmly tell Lucifer, No, this isn't how it's going to be. You need to tell me how we're going to stop the darkness, or this conversation is over. Which I give mad props to Sam for. Jared Padalecki, you are a great actor when it comes to this scene because you expressed the emotion so well and I enjoyed watching. Now after Sam tells Lucifer no, this isn't how it's going to be, this leads us to the climactic final moments of this episode, which were pretty clever by the writers. After Sam seemingly told Lucifer this isn't how it's going to go down, the fire around the cage slowly disintegrates out into nothing. Crowley and Rowena have a look, but Rowena seems to know more about what's going on as she tells Crowley we need to go. And then all of a sudden we see inside the cage and there is Sam confronted by Lucifer, saying, Welcome home! Lucifer then jokes around about if Sam wants the top bunk or the bottom bunk, or if they want to share. Now, as crazy as this seems plot-wise, it doesn't make a lot of sense unless they ultimately intend to have him get out of the cage again. Let's think about it. There's no force left other than God and the darkness that could get Sam out of the cage without having to eat up a ton of episodes and plot trying to do something that took death himself to do before to get Sam's soul out of the cage. But with him out of the picture, those are the only two entities, God and the Darkness, that could seemingly pull Sam out if he is indeed back in the cage again. Now before we get into all the uh, commotion and issues and arguments this is going to cause within the fandom, I like to say myself that I'm more on the side of this is more than likely a mind game ploy by Lucifer just to get Sam to say yes because as I said before it would eat up a lot of plot and episodes to get Sam out of the cage but I could always be wrong. We'll have to see until we come back from the break and see how this gets resolved. The episode seemingly ends there with the confrontation between Lucifer and Sam reaching a climactic point which won't be resolved until we come back from the break sadly. There the episode ends and then we get a preview for the upcoming episodes or the next episode which returns by the way on January 20th of 2016. Now before we wrap up this let's talk, I want to point out something that was bugging me to death last night while watching this episode. The last time the cage was in play at the end of season 5, everyone knows that the cage have two more occupants other than Lucifer, one being the Winchester's other brother, Adam, and the other being the other archangel himself, Michael. Now, I think this is intentional writing to make us question what's going on with those two. In an interview, I believe it was Jensen Ackles that said, The topic of Adam will come up again this season. What better time than now for that topic to come up? Also, there are those that believe that they weren't shown because Lucifer seemingly has killed them both, as there have been some friends of mine that I've talked to and... A couple forums I've read stating that people said, well, Lucifer got tired of being in the cage with them and killed them both. Now, we will ultimately have to wait until the break is over to see how all of this gets resolved, and if you're anything like me, it has me hyped for what's coming up next on the second half of this season. So with that, what do you think? Are they going to show up after the break? Did Lucifer kill them both? Also, please let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like and please subscribe. This has been Big Ape 93 and as always, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next exciting episode of Let's Talk with me, your host, Big Ape 93. And as always, I hope you enjoyed today's discussion and I look forward to seeing you next time.